Okay, hi everybody. Today I have an amazing practice for you. And I start with this practice. It's about appreciate your hearts. Thank you so much. I leave this uh, recording on my YouTube channel, so sign up. And this practice about the person you ever lost in death. So I will talk about my father. I lost my father, and um, I like I like to share with you this practice. <laughs> Hi. So, if you ever lost anybody, you can follow me. Uh, so I will talk about my father, and um, I know uh, sometimes it can be very very difficult and we all go through this experience sooner or later more or less and um so anyway let's let's start it so i have my notes here just in case i will follow because it's english my second language so sometimes i need um more um i need to sneak peek Okay, so we, we have to realize, wait a minute, let me put my headset, is it better, can you hear me better? Yeah, thank you so much, I appreciate that, thank you. Um, so, oh, one second, I drop. So sometimes we uh, we need to realize that um, we need to realize that everybody will go through this experience, which is transformed to another dimension, to another level. Okay, and so when your loved one pass away, it just meaning they come home, they return home. And we are still in journey. We are still in a life journey. And if you think about why we born and what it's all about, we actually born in death. The minute we born, the the minute we born, we go through this experiences in life. First, we uh, grow up in family and. Who got lucky they stay with parents with both parents in a good family uh, in a lot of times we see uh, different um, experiences and it's all being chosen by soul so basically we choose our life experience before we're born and we choose our parents as well and I like to share with you this practice. It will help you to understand and realize that it's just a process. And we all go through this process. We all go home. Sooner or later, everybody have their own time. So basically, my father... So I'll talk about my father, but what who is for you, um, you, you know, just follow me if you like. So basically my father came back to Creator and Creator had better plan for my father. So I'm not going to take, you can take two pieces of paper and on one piece you write down the name of the loved one. I already did, did that. And then on the other piece of paper you write down your name. So when you take one piece of paper and just find in the room, just put it somewhere, okay? Somewhere like close or far so you can see it. The comfortable, like you listen to your subconscious, listen you to yourself. So, and after you locate this um, piece of paper, or you can do it mentally, it's also working. 
And now I like you to just close your eyes and I will guide you. Just calm down, breathe, and imagine the face of your loved one. Imagine, I imagine my father when he was smile and when he was younger, how I remember him in his best time and my connection with him in the best time. So, and I was, I, I was very good with my father. We get along pretty good, so. And now I'll say the phrases and you can repeat those phrases after me. Apparently, I was feeling guilty for your death. Breathe. Apparently, I feel guilty for not saying or doing for you enough. Just breathe. And now you can say things that you like to say to your loved one. My dear father, I miss you. I'm so glad we spent time together. I'm so glad we get along. I'm so glad you you being my father, the best father for me. <sighs> Apparently, I was keeping this pain in your honor. Breathe. Apparently, I feel that part of me died with you. I just breathe. Apparently, I was suffering because I miss you so much. And just breathe. Apparently, I didn't realize that you reunion with Creator. And just breathe. And now, I imagine a portal opening up and I see my father next to me. When he was much younger and looked so happy. And I see this portal opens up and I see a figure of the family tribe keeper coming out and slowly come close to us. So now I see three figures, me, my father, and the family tribe keeper. And now I feel how we connect 
energetically all together. And now, before my father go with the guy, with the tribe keeper, it's a process started when we exchange the energies. And the energies is that really in my heart holding the memory and um, like energy that I need to let go. That energies that not belong to me, memories belong to me, but energies that I need to let go so my body knows what to need to let go. So now I just imagine how those energies leaving my body and go back to my father. At the same time, my father gave me back what is mine and it's belong to me. So now I see this process going on. And family tribe keeper watches the process. So now the process almost over. I feel much lighter. And I see how my father start to smile more, feel much more lighter and happier. And now I'm asking the tribe keeper to see what else maybe I don't see that I need to let go. And and continue the process or finish up the process of exchanging energies. And same way he looked at my father and did final exchange. So now so now I feel better. I love my father so much. Okay, and after this transaction, my father looks so happy. And our family tribe keeper is about to take him to the portal to reunion with whole tribe. And before he do that, I know I can ask for gift from the tribe. And now we envision this gift that I like to have and I can ask anything I want. I can ask success. I can ask material things. And in my mind, I'm asking to manifest something that I am focusing on right now. And I'm asked to manifest the uh, so I'm asking for something. I like it.
And if you ask for something, though, you do the same. So thank you so much. So I just blew to family tribe keeper and I bow to my father and I appreciate so much for everything I have appreciate to be part of my beautiful strong tribe for help and support always and now I see how the my father and tribe keeper they walk into the portal and my father very happy I see him reunion with with the tribe with my grandma with my grandpa with my uncle and my aunt. And with so many other people I don't even know. Thank you so much. I love you so much. So it's, it's very, very beautiful. appreciate you it's very powerful practice to do try not to cry <laughs> thank you so if um, I keep recording if you have anybody that you want to share it's important for us to to understand that <laughs> we we all will transfer and it just pardon me missing my father so much <laughs> oh, of course he is 100% in me my mama 100% in me but it's it's just it's just a journey in life so we all need that support from our family tribe and understand that we we here visiting. We are visiting. We are in a journey. But they are their home. <laughs>